One of the owners of the horses, Joseph Lake, explains what transpired. Okay, I saw them riding the horses and call, and call the guy there, call Rasai. And Rasai called us and tell us that they saw the kids on the horse and then they called went up to buy the hospital, the hospital was up there, the yeah. woman was up there. The police were then called. Nick Fenton explains all of the horses were actually there. But what happened, the guy left the scene and called the police and the other three horse split from up there and leave those two that actually sick, injured. That's why. And so find these one and after the guy go around and find, find the person. A 12 year old boy found on one of the horses agreed to take the police to where the other two horses were being kept. Rafiki Harris says they were taken to Radio Range by the Lutheran School. However, the horses weren't there. He says the theft occurred one day after a meeting was held with the police commissioner seeking the protection of the authorities against theft of their animals. The situation, Harris says, is grave as the stable, which had over 20 horses, is now down to eight. The first two weeks, they come and take up five. Two weeks after, they come and take up five more horses. And then two weeks after, they come and take up six more. So in a month and two weeks, is what? 16 horses they come and take up. A pregnant female with a foal who was still nursing was among those taken. The uplifting riding stables, which offers horseback riding tours, photo ops at birthdays, weddings, and school fairs, is greatly hampered by the theft even after the horses are found. And even when we find the horses, when we get them back, the horses are injured. So we have to kind of nurture them for maybe like a month or two, sometimes three months before we can start to work them again. We're the ones who have to go in our own pocket and find the money to, to fix them back and treat them back, and that's hard enough. Harris says they steal some of the stable's best horses. Four of the young men involved have been found by police. They range in ages from 12, 14, 18, and 19 years old. Two are still at large. All six horses have also been recovered. Harris says he'll be seeking compensation from their parents. Sherilyn Beza reporting for ABS News.